United States Treasury Department. How can I help you? Uh, yes, sir. I was returning a phone call. You know, sir, uh, did you receive any lawsuit or case ID number from that call? No, sir. I don't believe so. Uh, I was up in the cockpit and I can't have phone calls when I'm up there. And I came back here and I was just returning the call. I Okay, can you help me out with your name and your mailing address so I can pull out your information, mister? Yeah, my first name is Chesley, C-H-E-S-L-E-Y, and my last name okay, is... Mr. Chesley. I'm sorry? Yes, your last name. Yeah, Sullenberger, S-U-L-L-E-N-B-E-R-G-E-R. Burger, okay. Can you help me out with your mailing address? Yeah, it's 3186 Confederate Drive, okay. Amber. Which drive? Confederate Drive. Confederate Drive, okay. Right. Amber, New York, 13110. New York. It's 13110, am I correct? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Mr. Chesley, can you grab a pen and a paper with you so I can provide you with your case ID number? You can write it down, okay? Sure, I got one, yeah. You got one? Now, just write it down, okay? It's C as in Charlie, H as in Harry, number 7, number 6, number 2, number 9, and number 5. Okay. Okay. Now, write down my name as well over there. It's Officer Jordan Wilson. Did you say Jordan Wilson? That's correct. Jordan okay. Wilson. I got it. Okay. Now, write down my batch ID number. It's C as in Charlie. Okay. Okay. It's I as in Indiana. Mm hmm. R as in Romeo. Okay. Number 50372. 50372. Okay, I got it. Okay. Who now, did you say you were with? Reason, I'm sorry. Uh, the, I'm with the United States Treasury Department Legal Affairs. Oh, okay. Okay. Why? Why? Now, the reason behind this call is to inform you about the case which is against your name issued by the United States Treasury Department. So, which in regards to your federal taxes. So, are you aware about this case? No, sir, I am not. This is first I've been made aware about it. You have? Okay. So, now, let me notify you, sir, that we work through a computer management system and we on blind which we are talking right now has been recorded from the courthouse okay so once this line get disconnected your warrant will be executed automatically so do not disconnect the line okay okay I'll do my best yeah okay okay now <clears throat> can you help me out with your lawyers information do you have a lawyer for yourself who can represent you in the courthouse well, I have an attorney, but he, you know, I don't know if he does taxes or not. Okay. Now, well, sir, at this point of time, United States Federal Department is pressing two criminal allegations under your name. First is tax evasion and the second is tax deficiency. So, do you know what tax deficiency is? Uh, is that where you haven't paid enough taxes? Uh, tax deficiency defines in section number 6211A of Internal Revenue Code. Tax deficiency occurs when the current amount of income tax is more than that amount shown on the tax papers which owe to IRS. Means there are still some outstanding amount which you owe to IRS. Okay? Just okay. write down the amount. It's... Okay. Write down the amount. It's three thousand one hundred sixty seven dollars and twelve cents three thousand one sixty seven twelve cents that's correct what, now what year is this from 
Yes, I'm Maxine. I'll give you that. Okay. okay. Before I give you any further information, let me know. Do you file your taxes each and every year properly? Yeah, mm -hmm. I sure do. Yes. Do you file it by yourself or you have a CPA or accountant to file it for you? No, I have an accountant that does it because uh, I'm, okay, I'm usually, just... I work for the airline and I'm usually not around to do it and I have to have okay. someone to take care of it for me. Yes, I understand that. So can you tell me that did the same person file your taxes each and every year? Oh yeah, he's been doing them for probably 25 years. 25 years okay from the last five years the same person filed it for you yes for the year <coughs> in 2015 can you tell me that the same person did it for you yes he's done them for me for the last 25 years probably okay uh, now let me tell you one thing sir while filing your taxes for the year 2014 and 2015 the taxes which you have been paid towards the IRS is not matching the taxes which we have on our file when the IRS done audit under your tax account they found out miscalculations and errors the expenditures was overshown and the income was undershown that's the reason IRS got suspicious and they are issuing a warrant against your name for this tax fraud issue now, before I start with the legal actions against your name, sir, can I know that? Have you done that intentionally to defraud the IRS or it was a mistake done by you or by your CPA? Well, um, my CPA would have been the one that did it, not me, because he does my taxes. And I'm sure it was just a mistake on his part. I'll, uh, I'll have to call him and talk to him about it. Well, sir, at this point of time, uh, you don't have rights to take a charge from the CPA accountant or a tax lawyer. The only thing you can do is you can hire a criminal lawyer for yourself who can represent you in the courthouse. You can go to the courthouse and fight against IRS in the courthouse. Do you understand that? And the reason why I have been called you from our side today is because we have been done background check under your name, Mr. Chesley, and we found out that you have never been picked up for any criminal allegations in your past. Am I correct? Oh, yeah, that's right, because where I work at, we you can't have a criminal record and work for the airline, no. So that's the reason we have been called you, that you are a regular taxpayer, then why have you done this tax fraud issue by evading your taxes and by showing them the lesser amount? Okay, now, well, sir, before like I said, I, I just I said, wasn't aware of this. I, you know, I, I just was not aware. I of believe it. that. Okay, I understand that, sir. But this is a mistake for you. Okay, but okay. for Internal Revenue Service, this is a criminal allegation. I hope you understand that. Now. Can you tell me that, do you have any questions before I send my officers at your mailing address or at your workplace to take you under custody and to recover the outstanding amount by hampering your assets, your bank account, your social security number, and your properties if any? Well, can I go to the website and pay this? See, paying this off is not an option for you right now because I am not a bill collector to collect money over here. Uh, your payment plan has been validated now because IRS won't be accepting your card, any debit card, credit card, or check or money, okay? okay? The only thing I can do for you is because I found you on this person on this recorded line, the only thing I can do is I can transfer your call to the superior who is in charge of your case. You can talk to them. If you convince them, they can put a hold on your warrant, okay? Okay, yeah, that will be fine. But before going ahead, sir, let me tell you one thing, that there are some protocols and some rules which you have to follow. In the Enforcement Act of 1992, Section B, Subsection C, Code of Conduct 3, every bit of information that has been shared and discussed over this line has been recorded. So, sharing and discussing any of this matter to any third person will be considered as a federal criminal offense and the jail term for that will be three years on this recorded line okay i hope you understand the 
protocols so I'm gonna transfer your call to the in charge of internal revenue service so you can talk to them and try to convince them to put a hold on your warrant and to put you on a payment plan okay okay all this right. is the only thing I can do for you sir so okay. just hold the line I'm just gonna transfer your call to them okay sure so just hold okay. for a second all right Thank you very much for holding the line, Senior Federal Agent George Hampton from the Treasury Department. I believe I'm having a word with Ch uh, Chesley. Yeah, Chesley Sollenberger. Or you can just call oh, me Sully. Okay. They call me Sully. Sully, right? Right. All right. How are you doing today, sir? I'm pretty good. I'm here at work and doing pretty good today. How about you? Oh, well, I'm fine. Thank you very much for your concern. Uh, first of all, like I want you to like write down my information for your future preference. So okay. you have a pen and a paper handy. I, I sure do. You write down. Right, right, no, right, you, you can note down my name. My name is George Hampton. George Hampton. Okay. H. Mm -hmm. You can also write down my employee badge ID number, which that is my identification code. Okay. Which starts with the letter A. A as in Alpha. G as in George. Three one three six. Three one three six. Correct. That's okay. my employee by charity number. All right. Okay, I got it. Now, uh, I'm the one who's gonna be finalizing the case as I got an hour of time to finalize the case. All right. Now, I just received a case under your name regarding about tax evasion from the year of 2014 and 15. Can you, I'm giving you two minutes of your time. Can you please explain me what really happened during those years that the taxes was been miscalculated? Yeah, I, uh, like I was telling the other, can you hear me okay? Uh, I can hear you, but I can hear you. Okay, because I'm, I'm at work and I, I work for the airline. It's kind of noisy. Uh, I was oh. telling, I was telling the other guy, I, uh, I have a accountant that does my taxes. He's been doing them for the last 25 years and I'm, I'm sure it was just a mistake on his part, and you know I'll uh, mm -hmm. I'll have to take that up with him because he, he's the one that does it. We well, are right. Right now, we will not be concerned about your accountant, as you know that we get your taxes under your name, under your information. As the IRS never told you to hire a third party or an accountant in order to file your taxes, as you are pretty much sure to understand that you are the one who will be responsible for anything that is uh, under your name, under your, the taxes that you have paid. Yeah, that's, the really, really I can't, story, do, really I can't fill out those right. forms and the paperwork, it's just too much for me. I can, I can fly a jet, but I can't do the paperwork for my taxes. <laughs> you can fly a jet, but you cannot like file those paperwork. Yeah, I'm a pilot. Are you, are you? Oh, oh well, that's really, appreciate profession that you got. Yeah, I, I enjoy it. I've, it's all I've ever done. Mm -hmm. You know, like, uh, sir, do you know, like, uh, how much amount that you owe, still owe to the federal government? Well, uh, Mr. Wilson said it was uh, $3,167.12. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, now, because of the amount that you owe, there is a warrant of arrest which have been issued under your name by the federal courthouse under the case of tax evasion. So, like, just want to know, do you have a criminal lawyer? Y yeah, I do. Uh, <clears throat> I, I have one you do at have home. a criminal lawyer, all right? Yeah, back at home I do, yeah. All right, have you been arrested in, in your past? No, no. Working at the airline, they... You, can't do that. This is the first time that you're facing a warrant of arrest. Yes. That means. Yes, that's, that's right. Now, I believe my uh, representative officer already explained you how to resolve the matter. You haven't given a chance to resolve the matter out of the court or if you want to hire a lawyer for yourself, if you, you told me that you have a criminal lawyer for yourself, either you represent that guy or you 
get presented inside the federal courthouse in order to fight the case with the IRS. What have you decided? Well, uh, I mean, I'll be glad to pay it. Uh, can I go to the website and pay it? Oh, sir, I'm really sorry, but actually this, is, this case is regarding about about taxes. Mm -hmm. Right now, at this very moment, we will be unable to receive any kind of payment from your in through check, through any any of online payment, or neither by any like verifying any of your personal and sensitive information or this recorded line like your account numbers and all, because we are not authorized to tag those kind of information as this is a recorded line. The only the only payment procedure that will be you personally doing the EFTPS procedure in order to verify the payment. EFTPS. 3100 I don't know what yeah, that is. $3,167. You need to drive down to uh, local stores in order to get a tax vouchers. That's how you are going to be verifying the payment for your bad taxes. Okay. I need to go where? Uh, well, you need to go to a local stores. Do a store. federal local stores? Yeah, do any of the federal local stores who have been authorized by the federal government in order to work for a business purpose? The only federal like store I know of is the post office or the liquor store. <laughs> I, oh, post office and the <laughs> liquor store? <laughs> That's the only two I know well, of. Well, any any other stores? Like the most common store, like a Walmart. Do you, do you have any Walmart? Walmart? Yes, sir. Yeah, there's one uh, back home where I live, yeah. All right. And any other store like Walgreens and all? Oh, yeah, we have Walgreens, Walmart, mm -hmm. all, all those. Like yeah. Which, yeah, which store will be the nearest store from your uh, lo current location where you're at right now? Well, none of them would be right now because uh, I'm in a jet over the Atlantic Ocean flying overseas. I'm 18,000 oh, well. feet up in the air. <laughs> oh, well. Is that true? Yeah. I'm a pilot and I'm, I'm in the break room right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. I, uh, I know that. I'm so in the like, break room. Uh, you're, you're inside the jet. You're inside the yeah. plane. Yeah. Flying I mean, it. I'm in the I'm in the break room. You can't talk on the phone oh, in the you're... cockpit. You cannot do it in the cockpit. But I'm in the break room. So like, a... all right. I fly an Airbus three twenty. Eighteen eighteen hundred feet high. Eighteen hundred feet over the Atlantic. No, eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand oh, feet. Eighteen thousand. Sorry. Over the Atlantic Ocean. There's no Walmart. All right. There's no Walmart. Oh here. well, there's there's no Walmart in the year. No. <laughs> I can take care of it when I land. Okay. When are you gonna land? Uh, it'll be in London in about another ten hours. It will be in the land. Uh, it will be in London. Right. In the next ten hours. Right. I'm flying. From, all... I'm flying from Charlotte, North Carolina, to London, England, overseas. You, you are flying to London, England, all right. When are you going to come back to America, USA? Uh, let's see. Today's the 20th. I'll be in London for three days, and then I'll have another flight. From London, I'll go to Germany. And then from Germany... From London, you are, you are going to fly to Germany, all right. Right, and then I'll go... From Germany, I'll come you back to You have a good life, US. man. <laughs> it's, it's a job I've been doing it for years it's about all I've ever known they, uh, uh, how long how long have you been like been in this profession oh gosh I've been a pilot uh, when I got out of high school I went into the Air Force and that's where I uh -huh. learned to fly I served four years in the Air Force and oh, then I uh, uh -huh. became a pilot and I've been flying for 20 22 years now. Oh. Thank you very much for your service, sir. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. It's, I enjoy what I do. I, uh, you're away from home a lot, uh -huh. but it's all I've ever done. It's all I know how to do. 
All right. Now, see, I believe you will be the captain, right? The captain of the. Yes, I am the captain. Yes, and. Uh, you you are the captain. Yes, and. Uh, I can't land and go to Walmart. I can't land on the water. Yeah, there is, there is, there, there is no way if you are uh, like 18,000 high above the air, and then yeah, I've, there is I've no way on... that you can like no. directly, even even though you try to jump from the plane through a parachute, it will take you around like oh, yeah. six to seven hours to land down. Yeah, I've landed on the water one time. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you survived? You survived? Uh, yeah, I believe so. All right, that's great. No problem. So, sir, in that case, let me just go ahead and send the information to the higher authorities. And let me just, uh, like, once you're free, I will just give you a call back, all right? Okay. Uh, do, you we'll need to know, do you want me to tell you when I'll be back in the country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be back on the 31st. The last, uh, or thir I'm sorry, the 30th. The 30th. Oh, okay. I'll be back on January the 30th. All right, no problem. Then I will be calling you at that at your convenient date. All right. Okay. Well, let me. Can I ask you Thank one you very much can for I, your time, sir? Can I ask you a quick question? Sure, sir. Okay. I know you're a scammer, and I've been pulling your leg all along. <laughs> uh -huh. You're just a jerk off scammer. I, uh, I, I know that, sir. You didn't know that. You might have showed. No. <laughs> <laughs> I had you going the whole time. What else you got? Talk to me. <laughs> and he is gone.